I think it's really significant to have um, you know, a double header where the women get to play on the same stage as the men uh, and you know, start to form that normality and playing in front of you know, live audiences of that size is something that's really significant. We've built such brand value in the Bledisloe Cup, now there's a chance for us to do it with a lot Laurie O'Reilly uh, and I think it's really significant. Yeah, it's certainly our plan is to make sure that we um, you know, make this a regular occurrence unless there's a reason why we think having um, the girls game as a standalone would make more sense but certainly I think having them on the big stage in front of a massive audience would be really important. I think by the exposure that women's rugby is getting especially on this main stage right now that we play on the same platform as the men and having the boys actually support that um, is a massive thing for women's rugby but for that bit as well getting that exposure and getting that word out there that Australia actually supports us in every aspect of women's rugby is a great influence on the game and the influence on the bid, I think. New Zealand's always a tough competitor in everything they do. So New Zealand, yeah, they're going to be tough. They're top of the world at the moment. So that's a tough competitor with, within the bid. But we've put our resources into it early and I think you can see the support around the country and New South Wales and the government support is really important for us to win that bid and hopefully on, in November we'll find out that we win it.